Welcome to the Classy Career Girl podcast. I'm your host, Anna Runyon, founder and CEO of Classy Career Girl, one of Forbes' most influential career sites. This is a podcast for a community of women who want to turn their passions into work they love. You'll learn how to become happy, successful, and balanced with class, skill, and style. We believe that you can create your future. So stop delaying your great life. Go put yourself out there. You can have your great life and career right now. Hey there, everyone. It is official. This is Anna Runyon. We are officially on day one of our quarantine productivity challenge. Uh, So I'm here today. I had this idea last week because I've felt a little unfocused and overwhelmed. And so I thought it would be fun to share some of the things that I have been working for me, you know, because I'm just like you guys trying to figure this out myself too. And I'm really ready to buckle down, get my organization back, get my planning back. I'm here to lead you guys. I feel called to lead you guys, but I need you guys too. That's that's why I've built this community. So keep pursuing those dreams that we wrote down in the beginning of this year. And I need you and I'll inspire you guys right back. To, you know, I'm, I'm really here to help you. I want you to feel hopeful and organized. Um, even in this time of uncertainty, all you guys need is a pen and paper and to show up. And those are free, right? So um, let's support each other. Let's all come together. Let's progress this week. Instead of feeling like we're just kind of living life out of control. I know I've kind of thought at some point over this last month. And I just want to share with you, I want to help you regain control of your life and those small baby steps each day. We're making this super simple. So this is not going to be an overwhelming challenge. Um, But I want you guys to commit to yourself. So if you haven't yet, said, I'm in, let me know in the comments, say I'm in. And that's going to show me that you are ready. Um, You're ready to get the results you want in your career, in your business, in your life, or you just want to make it through today. Hey, sometimes it's all about just making it through today. And so we're going to do that. Even if life feels a little chaotic right now, Um, we're just going to make it through. Monday through Thursday, one day at a time. So each task every day is going to take about 10 minutes each day. So really by the end of this week, I want you guys to be happier and I want you to be more productive. And so there's a couple of things that I want you to know. Um, Your first action is to make sure that you have our free digital to-do list template. That's really going to help you get through the day. That's really going to help you. We're going to talk more about that tomorrow because that's the topic of tomorrow's productivity challenge. But I would love to see you post a selfie with that to-do list template, whether it's on your screen because it's editable. So you can, if you open it up as a PDF, you can write your to-do list editable if you don't have a printer or a lot of people like like to print it out and that's totally fine too. Um, you can get that at classycareergirl.com forward slash to-do list. I'll make sure someone on the team um, links to that as well in the comments. Um, so that's one, that's the free way you can participate. Now we also just launched our brand new physical planners for 2020. So you are also welcome to get the physical create your future planners. Um, they're discounted specifically for this challenge through Thursday, April 16th. So some of you guys guys want to do, want to have the daily to-do list at your fingertips. I know I do. Uh, <laughs> since 2018, I've been using our physical planners. And so every single day I have that to-do list template right in front of me. Um, so you can learn more about the physical planners at classycareergirl.com forward slash create your future. And those are already, those pre-orders are already go- coming through this morning. So I love seeing you guys take initiative and stay committed to this. So all the details are on that page. If you have any questions, you can always email our team at support at classycareergirl.com. So let's dive into day one. We are talking about routines and schedules. So I'm super excited about this topic. Like I said, I'm just like you guys. I'm trying to figure this all out. This is uncharted territory. I'm not an expert. I'm just sharing you guys with you guys what I've learned and how I have been able to grow this company you know, with two kids myself. So let's dive in. Let's talk about routines and schedules. I asked you guys in the classic curriculum work this morning, yes or no, do you have a morning routine? 
do you have any sort of routine or schedule right now as we're in this, you know, kind of weird time of our life? Most of us are working from home. You know, maybe I've, I know I have two kids around. Uh, maybe you have kids, maybe you're doing homeschool too. So do you have, let me know in the comments, like, do you have a schedule routine that you have right now? Um, I know for me in the beginning, March 14th was my first official quarantine life. It was when quarantine life started for me. I specifically remember that day. <laughs> I've hardly left the house since then. And so for me in the very beginning, it was tough. Like there was a lot of, obviously there was a lot of fear going on reading the news headlines. For me, there was this kind of like laziness in a way because I didn't really know what what I should be doing every hour. And, and I didn't have a real schedule at that time because my previous schedule went out the window. You know, now the kids are home. You know, I can't go to the gym anymore. Like there's just, everything is just kind of thrown out the window. So there was this time of, of laziness, very like I was very tired. I wasn't making time for myself or self-care. So I was doing everything for everyone, like trying to, uh, anyone else, like the, the cook, making sure everyone is like trying to, is, is fed. You like forget to feed yourself. Um, so it was just, I feel like, I felt like I was like always making food and cleaning and kind of distracting myself with Instagram and, you know, trying to like not get overwhelmed with everything that's happening. And then for me in the beginning too, I was, I didn't have a schedule for my mornings. So I have two kids. I have, um, a 20 month old and a almost six year old. And so I was just kind of letting them wake me up and going to bed late and sleeping in. And there was just no, I didn't really have a routine. And so that was the first two weeks of quarantine. And then once April hit, I kind of I, I decided like I needed a better routine. I definitely, I wasn't working out then and I needed to figure out a time where I can, I could fit back in working out because if you're like me, you say you're going to work out every day and then it's like two or three o'clock when you really need to work out and then you just do something else and you just never end up working out. So that was kind of like one of the things I realized, okay, April's starting I need to kind of do what you guys are doing. Like I need to make this commitment. I need to say I'm in. I need to change change stuff around a little bit. And so for me, it was the commitment to wake up for my kids and work out. It was just like one small little thing of fitting into my schedule, trying to do a little reading before they get up, you know, trying to do a little quiet time. And really for me, that has made all the difference from that first of April when I started this. And I told John, you know, I, I told John it was like a weekend April. So just a couple of days ago, I told my husband, John, I was like, I'm not sure what's happened, but I feel better. I feel like less stressed. Like, I, I don't really know what, what happened. And he just looked at me and he was like, it's because you started working out in the morning. Like you're way happier. Like for him seeing me, the co comparing those two things, like creating that just small little change in my routine in the morning was like night and day Anna. There was like Anna before she was doing that and Anna after. And I didn't really realize it until I just felt like, oh, I just feel like a little lighter right now. And someone from the outside, John, who sees me obviously every day, could see that so clearly. So sometimes we don't even realize how just like a small little change in our routine can make such a huge difference. And so for me, it's really about those like small little steps to control your day. And in this challenge, I'm going to put more emphasis on your morning routine because I believe that it really does start with like that moment that you wake up like designing that ideal morning routine, having a plan from the moment you wake up, it's really going to help you make the rest of your day more relaxed. Yeah. A lot of you guys can relate for sure. Okay. So I'm going to, I'm going to list, you know, five questions to ask yourself right now as you're kind of like evaluating your routine. And this is just going to help you kind of assess yourself where you're at. If there's like some things that you can add or change to your routine. So the first question is what routines and habits have you done in the past that made you feel good and that made you feel happy? So for me, when I asked myself this question before I changed my routine, I actually started a routine on the 1st of April. 
it, I knew like, I know I'm happier when I'm working out. Like I know, even if it's just moving my body guys, if I'm not like working out hard. I'm just trying to like move my body. I'm trying to wake up at 5 30 AM, move my body before my kids wake up. And I know that sometimes I forget what makes me feel good and what makes me feel happy. So that's why this is an important question. Life changes a lot. Like you guys all had a huge change over these last few weeks. Like no one could have expected this. For me, a huge change in my life is when every time when I've had my, my daughters, life totally changes. My time changes. My habits change. My routine changes because they're kind of in charge. <laughs> the baby's in charge. And so over these last couple of years, it's kind of, you know, I'm getting woken up a lot in the middle of the night. So I've had to change my routine and I forgot how much I love my morning time. And so you forget that if you don't kind of reevaluate like over the, over the last few years, like when, when, what does make me feel good in my routine? And so putting that morning routine back into my day, all of a sudden I'm happier for me working out when my body's, you know, that feeling like when your body's a little sore that you feel like, Oh, I did, I did a workout. Like, I like that. I like feeling a little sore because I know that I like push myself. And so, um, knowing that, knowing that I like to have some quiet time to be able to you know, to read a book with hot coffee, not like cold coffee after it's been sitting there when you're with your kids. Even if that's five minutes, even if I can have like a hot coffee and read a book for five minutes, you know, maybe write a couple things I'm grateful for, that makes me feel good. So that's the first question. Like in the past, like what what has worked for you that has made you feel good and happy? Um, The second question is, if you have your ideal morning, what would you do? Like if you could have the ideal morning in the world, you know, it was perfect. Sometimes we're afraid to let ourselves dream. It's probably not checking your email or seeing email. I remember when I was used to be in corporate, I, I would check my email from my, from my clients and my boss, like first thing in the morning. And I remember sometimes I would open it up and it was just like this feeling of dread because it was a bad, it was a bad email. It was an email I should not have read first thing in the morning. And so sometimes we just get so stuck in a rut that we just pick up our phones and we just read our email, you know, that we forget that we are in control of our calendar. If you remember anything today, it's like you are in control of your calendar. Yes, we've got the kids. Sometimes it's a little crazy, but you're still in your control. Like even if you have kids, your kids are looking to you to control the calendar. Your kids want a schedule and the calendar. Like my daughter loves knowing what are we doing tomorrow? What are we doing tomorrow? Like we, she has to have, she wants to have, know the schedule and know the plan. And if there's not a schedule, she tends to kind of like act up a little bit because she doesn't know what's going on. Just like our kids, like we need that too. And so some little thing that we've done too is during quarantine, like if my daughter wakes up early, like before the sun comes up, she knows mama's having quiet, quiet time. She's either going to like, she'll try and work out with me if I'm working out or if I'm reading, she knows like before seven, this is my five-year-old, almost six-year-old before seven, she needs to find something else to do because this is mama's quiet time. And she knows at seven o'clock, you know, then we can read and then we can play and like, then we can do everything that she wants to do. My 20 month old is a little different story. So that one, if you have little kids at home, you know, too, you, you have to know like when are their, you know, nap time, take advantage of those nap times of those sleep time, trying to get them to sleep a little bit longer in the morning, you know, but, but designing, forgetting all the distractions that could happen in your ideal morning. What does that look like? What would you do in your ideal morning? And then try and fit pieces into there, like small little pieces. Like it might not be your perfect morning every morning, but maybe you can read a book for five minutes, you know, or maybe you get that cup of hot coffee, or maybe you get a few minutes to move your body and then, and then you can work it up from there. But at least you start with like one thing in your ideal morning. Okay. So the third question is when do you have the most energy and feel the best in your day? So some of you guys are morning morning people, some of you guys are evening people, but like really knowing your body and knowing when you have the most energy and when you're going to be the best. I know for me, mo- mornings are my time. Like I used to be able to work at night and now, especially in this quarantine, I am exhausted after bedtime. 
Like if, you know, if I try and do any sort of work, I, my brain just doesn't, doesn't work. It has to be like the, the work that doesn't require any real thought because I'm, I'm just so exhausted by the evening. So for me, I really have to take advantage of those morning times. You know, there's been days where I've just spent the morning, like cleaning and organizing the house. Anyone else going on like major cleaning, un- like decluttering time like I am? And then I get to the afternoon and I should have been doing some work, but I'm exhausted. And so I've r- literally spent all of my great focus time cleaning, you know, rather than than spending time doing some of the work that I should have done. And now I have to do it at eight o'clock at night. And that's when I'm not at my best. And so it's really managing your energy and knowing when you have the most energy and feel the best in your day. I know for my husband, he gets energy like he he likes to work out and have a lot do a lot of his um, working out in the afternoons and even his work because he he gets energy from like working out a little bit and then doing work and then working out like every five minutes and then doing a little work like he I can't do that I I need like hour an hour or two of just like total focus time no distractions but we're different you know you have to do it for your own way and what works the best for you. So figuring out when you have the most energy and feel the best in your day. Um, I'd love to know in the comments, are you guys morning people? Are you night people? Are you afternoon people? Like when, when do you have the most energy? And really it's scheduling then and, and it's knowing that. So for me, probably like right before these, this is why I do a 10 a.m. live because I am really, I have a lot of energy from eight to 10. Like now 10 o'clock. Nope, not right now. But like between eight and 10 is when I create like the best content. Like if I need to write something, if I need to create, you know, like a a couple hours ago, I didn't know what I was going to talk about today. And so I used my like eight to nine o'clock this morning to create the content for this live because I know that that's when I have the best energy. It's really about, about knowing your body, like knowing when, when you're going to be best. This all goes back to the routine and schedule, right? Like we want to plan our routine and schedule around when we get the most energy. So the fourth question is what's currently not working in your schedule. Now, this is really important to look back. You guys have had, we've had, what are we on now? Like four weeks of quarantine. I'm not even keeping of the days anymore, like about a month we've been doing this. And so you can kind of look back and see what is working, what is not working. Um, when I made this big change to my, it wasn't even a big change. When I started waking up and working out in the morning, it, it happened because I looked back at the last couple of weeks and I was like, something's not working. I'm feeling like lethargic. I'm feeling tired. I'm like, I'm not excited. I'm like, this is something's just not working. And so looking back, figuring out what, what is working, like where their time wasted, you know, when, um, for me, it's with kids. Like, when am I stressed out? Um, when am I not being a good mom? Because I'm like stressed myself and just evaluating and looking at those times. And so every day is just a new, new chance to improve. It's a new, new opportunity. So you can wake up tomorrow and, and try something different. If, if today didn't work out well for you, for me, this is like bedtime every night with the kids. Like every time we're constantly trying to like improve the bedtime routine with our two kids. And so it's just a little bit every day. And I know with our, with our planners, one of the questions we always ask is, um, we have a looking back page and you can actually get our free digital planner as well on our, on our website, our 90 day planner. And one of the first worksheets, you guys have probably already done this. Um, if you download our planner is our looking back page. And one of them is, you know, where, where have you wasted time? In the last 90 days, every quarter, we kind of look back and we do this every 90 days and we kind of look and see where are we wasting time? What isn't working in our schedule? What is working? And then the fifth question, when you kind of evaluate what's not working, then you can kind of look, I hope all these questions have kind of built on each other. So now the fifth question is, what small changes to your schedule would you like to implement to improve your day? So just like it was that simple decision to wake up to move my body before the kids get up, um, hopefully before the kids get up. Um, and you know, I suggest the morning, I, I always suggest like, if you don't know where to change kind of like your routine, you know, working on your own goals in the morning before you work on your boss's goals or your kid, you know, everyone else that needs something from you, whatever they need when they wake up. Right. But like, 
you got to work on yourself first thing. Um, so that's why I always recommend if you don't have any sort of like morning routine, that's the best place for you to really improve to start. It can change your entire day. The other routine that I would do, if you're not going to do the morning routine, I would do like an evening routine for me. When I had my kids are, were really young and when the mornings, when all I wanted to do is sleep in the mornings because I was like up all night, <laughs> my, I didn't really, couldn't really have a morning routine. And if you have a little one, little, little one, I, you know what I mean? And so I would do a nighttime routine instead. So instead of my morning routine, after I put the kids to bed, like around 7, 30 and 8, I would have a half hour to myself where I would look at my goals. I would do some reading. I would do some writing. I would do my gratitude journal. All this stuff like that I try and do now in the mornings, I would do that at night. So fi just finding that time. It could be a nap time. It could be you know, maybe um, there's a little piece of time in the day where where you get, can get that little bit of alone time. And that's where you can kind of set up that routine for yourself to make sure you're taking care of yourself. And it all leads into what we're going to talk about tomorrow, which is your daily to do your daily to do list and your daily habits. So it this all this conversation kind of perfectly will go into what we're going to talk about tomorrow. But I would love to for you guys share in in the comments in the Classy Career Girl Network, there's actually a post that says day one in the Classy Career Girl Network, and it's in the announcements. You can go find it. But what I would love for you to do is comment and post in that on that day one page on that post, post what you're going to do for your routine, like an answer to one of these questions, something you learned about this, this training today, something you know, what, what are you going to change about your routine tomorrow? Remember, it can just be small. It doesn't have to be like this long drown out routine or this long schedule. It's just, it's all about making these like small, small changes in your day. And incrementally after you keep doing that, all add up. And that's what we're going to talk about more about tomorrow is if you start to do some more daily habits, like one, two, three, and then you, they build on each top of each other, that that's when you can really start improving your life, your productivity and your career as well. So I'll meet the five questions for you guys. Um, first one was what routines and habits have you done in the past that made you feel good and happy. The second one was if you could have your ideal morning, what would you do? The third one was when do you have the most energy and feel the best in your day? The fourth question is what is currently not working with your schedule? And the fifth question is what small changes to your schedule would you like to implement to improve your day? So I want to make sure you also uh, have the, the to-do list template because like I said in the beginning, we would love to see your selfies with your to-do list template. You can do it digitally. You can print it out um, and you can go download that at classycareergirl.com forward slash to-do list. If you want the physical version, we just launched that this morning, which is super exciting. So we have the brand new 2020 ones where you can now pick the pink planner or the navy blue planner because it's like 50, 50, half of you guys, like we've done so many polls and so many, it just comes down to 50, 50, half of you guys want the Navy, half of you guys want the pink. So, um, we I finally was able to convince the team to let me sell both of them. So now you can pick which planner you want. And those are phys our physical planners are available to pre-order and they are going to be discounted 10% through Thursday, April 16th. So if you're going to get a planner, make sure you get it while we have this planning challenge going on. Um, so coming up, we're going to talk about daily habits and to-do lists. We're going to talk about your vision. So we're going to actually talk about where we're headed and when this quarantine is over and, and what we want to make happen. And then I'm also going to tell you about the making of the planner, the create your future planner. I'm going to dive deep into how vision played a huge role in that as well. And then we're going to have a party. We're going to have a planner pre-order party. So that's going to be who doesn't want a party when we're in quarantine, right? We're going to have a virtual party. So it's going to be a lot of fun. Oh, Melissa, Melissa shared her schedule. Okay. So let's, this is, this is inspired. It is inspiring to see other people's schedule he is up at 745 coffee shower dress downstairs. With my 14 year old to log into wor work and school at 9am. Yes. I am there with you break at 11 for a walk around the block lunch at four 
more webinars until, oh, maybe lunch at 12 or something, right? More webinars until four and then wind down. My son is good on his own. I love being here with him since he is a public schooler. Awesome. I love that you're getting, you're getting more time with the kiddos. That's, that's something I am too. And it's, it's so awesome. She said, before this, my schedule has been all over the place with my job. I had no routine. I allowed everyone to dictate what to do. Now this is great. I feel calm, peaceful, and more relaxed. I do too. I love that. I love that. I love that you have now made yourself in control of your schedule. And I think when this is done and we go back to normal life, I hope I said that this changes you too, because you can, you can also control the schedule when you go back to like, you know, people are going everywhere and things are crazy. I mean, we can, one, we can ease back into that, right? Like we can, you know, take it slower. We don't have to do all the activities. I know right now I'm not like all the summer camps and everything are all up in the air. So kind of nice to not have all the activities and all the things that we have to take our kids to, right? Okay. So Keisha says she has two waves of energy. Early morning is creative and after lunch for doing things. I love that. If you're creative, if you do any sort of creative things, knowing when, when you need to use that time for your creativity. I love that. Tiffany says, I find it difficult to juggle managing kids in the morning and getting them on a routine, but that's when I want to be working. Yeah. I mean, for me, it's really setting the schedule the night before and knowing, and so, and it's the same schedule every day. So I'm, I'm lucky and fortunate that, um, Mila, my six-year-old, almost six-year-old teacher, I'm not saying six yet. I'm five. She's still five. Her teacher has, has times where they have zoom calls. Um, so it starts at nine. Like she has to be on zoom at nine at 10 o'clock. You know, she has another zoom. Um, but it's spring break this week. So <laughs> that's why I'm doing this because I don't have to be like, I'm, there's no, there's no school this week really for her. We're just hang out and play games of fun, having fun. Susan says, I take a dog walk break every hour with my new puppy. Once I get back to normal, I want to continue taking a break every hour to walk and think. You guys, this brings up a good point. Like if, you, if there's things you're learning right now that you want to make sure you add to your schedule, you know, in 90 days, six months, whenever we get back to normal, like write those things down, like write these things. You want to remember these things that you're doing in your day. And then when it comes time to having, to going back to normal life, um, you know, we want to make sure that we add just walks with our dog, you know, just time with our kids, like hanging out, playing games, like whatever you're doing that you're finding joy in right now. Cause most likely it's those small little things that you, probably forgot. Like I know for me, it's going to be hard to wake up and work out in the morning when now I have to, when I have to get my kids ready for school, you know? So these little things, I want to remember how good I felt when I did actually wake up and work out in the morning when life gets back to normal and I have to, I have to get the kids off to school in the morning. So, um, write those things down so we can remember them. Let me know if you guys have any questions. You can find me in the Classy Career Girl Network. Would love to see your pictures of your to-do list too. So we'll see you guys. We'll see you guys later. Thanks everyone for joining me. This is um, one of my favorite topics to talk about. I'll see you guys soon. Bye.